Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rule of Waves 2 as Japan. We continue our valiant struggle against the French and their imperialist ambitions in Asia, uh, because we have imperialistic ambitions in Asia, so obviously uh, we need to push them out. Uh, in doing so, we have uh, defended... I mean, we haven't totally defended yet, but we have valiantly defended Luganville from attacks by the French Navy and in support of the actual invasion of Luganville and won every single one of them or, draw, or, or uh, had a draw. Uh, while that was happening, and they reinforced basically all of their capital ships in the South Pacific to aid in this attack, we were able to sneak in and get troops on the shores of An Am and are currently fighting against the French defenders there. And now the French have basically abandoned uh, trying to support this action. Uh, we're keeping our forces there for right now just in case there's anything else that happens, but uh, Southeast Asia is going to be the main theater at this point. And that's great because uh, most of the An Am ports are within range of our bombers, from our land-based bombers. Not that it really matters, because we have a whole bunch of carriers. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, they've, re they've, they've redeployed all of their forces there, so now they've got uh, a Dreadnought, two battle cruisers, three heavy cruisers, six light cruisers, an AMC, two seaplane carriers, 16 destroyers, and seven corvettes versus our uh, main force, our Kitu Uh Though the French basically have nothing else in the region, they are pretty heavily concentrated trying to reinforce by the looks of it a heavy cruiser a couple heavy cruisers but that's about it everything else is deployed uh back in northern europe so yeah we're gonna see how this goes so oh also we decided to update our destroyers with a new destroyer which has 20 torpedo tubes and still getting 35 knots on it uh this amazing ship uh we're hoping that we can use this uh and it'll have uh radar as well so that's great uh so yeah let's go to the next turn battleship engagement in support of land combat it's a large battle we outnumber them they decline battle cruiser action in support of land combat well hey yeah we're going to go ahead with this they decline battle strikes and any more demonstrations rumored to take place in france our technology sharing room with Italy has been of great benefit to our research efforts in armor development. Our new dive bomber, the Kyushu Kiyokoko, Kiyokoko uh, is on operational service. That's good. Heavy fighting in Anam. Enemy fortifications are holding up our advance. Our forces are fighting valiantly in Luganville. Our submarine torpedoed and sank a French light cruiser. Hey, there we go. Uh, oh, a large liner was sunk by a French submarine with heavy loss of life. Neutral nations are upset. Support for our cause is growing amongst the neutrals. I'm hoping that means that we're not at ten. We're not at one minute to midnight with uh, with the UK. Uh, nope, <laughs> nope. They still hate us, but uh, some of the others like us a bit better. So that that was yeah. I mean, uh, oh well. But it looks like the French aren't willing to support either invasion without overwhelming force, which I can understand in Luganville because they've been getting just ripped apart <laughs> around this island. Uh, but in Anam, I'm not I'm not sure why. They've even increased their uh, their forces in terms of their uh, their aircraft, though I think it's only down here in Borneo because I don't see any other X in front of any other base names. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. I think Kamarai Bay is still within range of long-range bombers, or medium bombers. I'm not sure. Uh, Denang is definitely good, but uh, Kamarai Bay, I'm not sure. Kamarai Bay. Uh, down here is definitely out of range. Oh, no, Kamarai Bay... Oh, wait. Is Kamar I think this is it. This is the dead zone. This is in between both of our air coverage, right? This strip. Uh, which would be a good place for them to try and force an action against us if we didn't have overwhelming carrier support. So, who knows? Let's go to the next turn. Just keep going. Cruiser action in uh, battle in support of land action. Here's the thing. This is possibly a bad idea, but we're going to accept it because we can support the land action and we might be able to force it. They decline. Cruiser action in support of battle in support of land combat. They're going in. Okay. Attack enemy ships in general. Let's do this. Okay. It is night. 
but it's not going to be night for long. But we do have the new 40, uh, 40 plane air base at Luganville, which is going to help us out a lot. They've got a, a much bigger uh, torpedo bomber unit. So we'll see how they uh, do this. Basically a light carrier's worth of, uh, of aircraft deployed there. We even have float planes for scouts now. So we'll see if uh, anything comes up. Uh, we got anything? Oop, unknown radar contact. Okay. Single contact. Could be a destroyer. Okay, we got a heavy cruiser. It's a light cruiser. Right, got a light cruiser. Six six inch guns, two inch belt, 5,500 tons versus our, I think these are 6,500 tons. 6,500 tons, nine six inch guns, two and a half inch belts. We've got a better, we've got better, uh, a better cruiser. We want to maintain distance around them. We want to use, we want to draw them in to have our aircraft hit them. Be all strategic and shit. We are hitting them pretty good. Waiting for a naval strike to be prepped and sent out. If they hit them, it should be good for us. When we are hitting them Pretty handedly, one of their turrets is out, which means they're down to four guns. What are they doing in terms of knots? 20 knots? It says heavy damage, but I doubt it. Oh, there go torpedoes. They're turning off. They're on fire. It'd be pretty easy for aircraft to spot that. Ooh, that is a heavy cruiser. So that's the second force, main force. Okay, turn off and away. We are faster than the heavy cruiser. Okay, that is a naval strike going out. They might hit that light cruiser and knock it out. Was on fire and took some pretty bad hits. And so you can go t 31 knots, but you're not. You are a heavy boy. If we can get away from them, break contact. Oh, there goes that naval strike. They're going to hit that light cruiser. I guarantee it. So we got a light cruiser. That's got to be a destroyer. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to try and go around the horn here and uh, bypass them, get them caught on the land. I know, kind of gamey, but uh, it's, it's strategy. <laughs> We're gaining... Again, if it comes down to it, we can sacrifice destroyers. Come on, Luganville. Probably on the radio trying to call in a strike. Right at the horn. Hit him at the horn. Ooh, okay, they are going in for a strike. Okay. If we if they lose a light cruiser to this, that's still a victory on our part. OK. 
Okay, we're going in again. All right, going around the horn. Catch them. We're within range of the guns for a short period of time. Okay, they're no longer chasing us. Okay. Straight down there. Going for a cruise. Actually, you know what? We're going to go for a well, one-knot cruise around Luganville while we let the aircraft go ahead and... Uh, nope. We let the aircraft go ahead and uh, do their mission. Uh, yeah, we'll put them back in. Okay, yeah, heavy damage, one of the light cruisers. We took light damage on one of our light cruisers. So, still a victory. They still, uh... Still had problems with a light cruiser. And yeah, looks like they got out of dodge pretty darn quick. Good to know. That's a minor victory. Studies of enemy aircraft given us some performance data for the French dive bomber, the D-80B. So medium bomb loads, 500. It's about uh, on par with our dive bombers. Top speed, 241. I think that's better than ours, or comparable. Uh, and combat radius, 445 for probably... A, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure what combat radius means. Is that a medium bomb load? Because I think we're close to that. Russian spy has been discovered. What do you want to do? Handle it quietly and discreetly. Let's not piss them off. Our scientists support that they are well on their way to understanding and improved motor torpedo boats. The Achi, the Achi company has developed a fighter as a private venture. They want to know if we're interested in buying it. Well, let's see. Uh, right now, we've got two fighters in service. Uh, a much an older one slowly being phased out with the Nakajima Seden slowly being put into play. Uh... With an average reliability, that's actually pretty good. Let's see here. Uh, this is got a higher top speed, a higher cruising speed. Its range is worse in every bracket. It's got more firepower. It's more maneuverable by one, tougher by one. And it's got a medium bomb load of 500 pounds and a heavy bomb load of 1,000 pounds. And it's still carrier launchable. <clears throat> so basically, we were trading off range for a higher speed, better toughness, better firepower, better maneuverability, and better bomb load. The Hyen? And I think we go ahead and, yeah, I think we take it. I think we accept that. Fighting continues in NAM. Our submarine sank a French Corvette. Okay. They launch. They lost another sub. That's good. Okay. Submarines are still building there. Still building plenty there. Could go ahead and we could probably halt construction of two of these to go back in the black for a bit. So we're still fighting in Anam. We're still fighting in Luganville. And in Luganville, yeah, they haven't reinforced heavily yet. Just one heavy cruiser, one light cruiser, and a couple of destroyers. Pretty heavy force in Southeast Asia, but apparently they're cowards and they don't want to fight us there. So I'm not sure what they're planning on doing. They've stay they're staying away from Northeast Asia now. So that's something. I'll check South Pacific. Yeah, we're over our uh are we over? Oh, we're not. Ooh. So can we deploy more down here now to Southeast Asia? Oh, actually, we could deploy more to South Pacific to really support them. Let's go. Okay, let's think this. Uh, think this. Think hard. Thunk. Uh, let's move the Fuso back down to Southeast Asia to aid there. Uh, let's see here. And also, the Haruna. We'll move you down there. T 
help as well. Make it overwhelming. Uh, let's see here. You're both in the South Pacific. That's good. Northeast Asia. I mean, you're not a great ship, actually. So we're not going to put you down there. Anything else in Northeast Asia? This AV. Not really worth it putting it anywhere else. Same with you. I think that's everything. We could put you, instead of Southeast Asia, move you to the South Pacific to aid in fighting the, uh, the enemy. That could help. That gets us, like, a, a carrier down there, a light carrier, and then we've got another then we got a dreadnought and a battle cruiser to reinforce that simply four and four well over what the french have got deployed i don't know did the french get rid of a whole bunch of their battle cruisers or something well they got rid of one of them so we're on par there they're still their cruiser actual force is better than ours but we're still doing okay all right Let's go to the next turn and see what happens. Convoy attack around New Caledonia. Ooh. I'm going to accept that. Attack enemy ships in general. Let's be very, very careful here. We do have a carrier. We have a destroyer force as our scouts. Okay. That actually kind of works. Uh, for the light carrier, I want you just to get everything, and I want you to ready a strike what you've got. Okay, we've got a radar contact. So what you're going to do is, uh, one, I want you screen, and you're going to stay right there. Uh, it's actually, instead of being a... Uh, in, oh, yeah, you're in screen formation. Good. Uh, I'm going to have you just start going that way, and we're going to really manage our destroyer. Until we get re readings that we're ready to go. Okay. It says there's a convoy there. Okay. Unknown ship. I'm waiting to see the convoy. Spotted by enemy aircraft. Is that from Numea? It's possibly from Numea or from their own carrier. Right? Enemy aircraft. Do we have a. Uh, got a recon. Let's go ahead and. Uh, fighters, fighter. Oh, none of the fighters are. are up. So I guess they're launching for a cap. Want some recon, figure out what we got. Okay, we got recon going out. Okay, there we go. Contact launch. Our Yep, launch them right there. Launch strike. Yes, 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 everything's out. I don't want the destroyers getting caught up in anything. They're just going to to remain right at the edge, maybe try and get their radar. Okay, yeah, they do spot some stuff. Okay, there goes the naval strike. I'm going to get one good naval strike in and hit that convoy. They they tried hitting us for months at Luganville. We finally struck out down to New Caledonia. And we're going to make them pay for it. We're going to make them pay for it. 
Here they go. The new Caledonian turkey shoot. Here we go. There's the bombers going in. There goes those in. What else we got? Unready. Let's just get you both ready. Torpedoes and dive bombers. Ready a strike. We'll send you back in. Heavy cruiser bomb hits. CV bomb hits. Where's that happening at? Over here. Okay. Once they're ready, we're sending them over here. Or, you know what? Instead of going for the convoy, so we're cutting that way. We're going to see if we can get the destroyers in on that carrier. All right, ready. It's a small force. Target. Out that way. Launch strike. Yes, sure, go in. Then we're going to hold for a while. Head that way. Against the wind. We're going to see if our destroyers can catch those carriers with their pants down. Get some torpedoes into them. Those destroyers are worth If we can do it, those destroyers are totally worth it. If we lose them. Okay, there we go. We got contact there. Heavy cruiser, it says. Light carrier. Flat top, flat top. We got it. It's converted. Oh, I did send some things over there. Okay. We're going in. Hey, hit by a torpedo. There we go. Okay, there's a recon plane that we're hitting our carriers. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I am totally willing to lose two destroyers. Don't know who's calling there, but we're not going to take it. Come on, come on, come on. They're running. Oh, bastards are running. Uh, ready. All of these. Ready a strike. Send them back in. I definitely want you to go full speed in your direction that you're going in. Just do that. Just kind of go with the wind so that you can deploy easily enough. Come on. Come on. Catch up to that flat top. What's his speed? What is his speed? 29 knots. This little bastard. Come on. Stay right behind him. He's got nothing. Force him off. Come on. Give me a torpedo run. Speed got cut down. Okay, we got some ready strikes. Right around there. Launch a strike. Yes, yes, go. We're getting low on our uh, torpedoes. Second naval strike. I want you guys to ready. Okay, there they go. We know for certain those destroyers got some shots off on that carrier. All right, and the heavy cruiser's coming towards us.
break off. There goes that strike. This is some nerve-wracking shit, guys. Okay, all of you are ready. I can set a priority. Set a priority for... CVs. Somewhere out that way. Launch strike. Yes, yes. Okay. There they go. They might go after that heavy cruiser, I'm not sure. Well, one of them did. Dive bombers going after the, uh... Carrier, I think. Okay. They're going after... Yep. Like carriers firing. Let's go after these guys. Try and hit them. Those destroyers? Those are destroyers. Okay. Break off. Uh, you two. I want you to hit transports. Ready to strike. I'll be hitting somewhere right around there, most likely. Ooh, air operations are now going to be gone, essentially. Alright, we don't have any objectives, so whatever we did, that's what we're going to have to stick with. So we just harassed a, a unit, essentially. Cruise on you. And it is the night. No. Okay. We'll see if we spot anything during the night. Nope. Hey, one of our subs torpedoed an enemy transport, or, uh, uh, merchant. Retiring from the engagement, that's good, so... Ooh, we sank it! We sank a light carrier! We sank the light carrier, nice! Apparently it's a draw, because they got a bonus for surviving merchants, but... Still, not bad. We knocked out a carrier, which, uh, strategically is much more important. Yeah, they were all there. By the looks of it, they had a heavy cruiser, some destroyers. Merchant there. A couple of stragglers back there. Okay. Either way, decent engagement. They, yeah, it's a draw, so they got slightly more, but still better for us. Our technology sharing group with Italy has expired. All right. Enemy sent out feelers, neutral nations with negotiated peace without border. No. We fight until the end, damn it. Yes, there we go. Uh, advanced welding, 1% weight savings on hull, good. Improved motor torpedo boats, motor torpedo boat squadrons will have mo improved MTB boats, okay. Uh, the Nakajima Company has developed an improved model of a fighter, the Sedan. Okay, so the B is what they've got now, so it's a higher speed on both brackets. Better range on all brackets, more firepower. Everything else is the same there, firepower is the same, and it's still an average. Alright, we'll accept that. Submarine torpedoed and sank a French destroyer. We knocked out another sub. They took out three of ours. Okay. So there goes a French light carrier. All they got left is a heavy carrier. Not even many destroyers. And the French have no carriers over here either. What happened to the French Navy? Uh, well, we happened to it. Uh, all, both of their regular fleet carriers, though, I don't know where they're at, is the question. Because they're not anywhere I can find them. 
Oh, there's a battleship. Oh, there's one. And there's another one. So I guess either they're going back to the main to mainland Europe, they're going back to Europe, or they're coming out this way. Either way, we beat them in numbers. But looking at the time, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Let's hit that like button. If you don't want to support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below, as well as take a look at the description down below, where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.